Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. In this article, I will discuss the one and only AMC stock and what investors should anticipate in the future. I'll also explain what's happening with the market as a whole and how this may affect AMC, as well as why tomorrow will be a monumental day due to the release of CPI data. Consequently, I will explain how this may impact the share prices of a variety of equities, including AMC in the future. Now, before I break anything down about this, before I discuss the specifics of CPI's release tomorrow and how it may affect SPY and AMC, there are a couple of things I must mention. To begin with, I am not a financial planner. Ensure that you take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you people could hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this, it would not only benefit me, but also the entire ape community. What I had actually predicted the day before. Additionally, AMC is in the green. I told you all yesterday that AMC would likely continue to pump, and I believe she might slow down as the day progressed because we will likely see more hedging during the final hour of trading due to tomorrow's CPI. However, AMC is currently holding up well again. She actually surpassed 5.5. I did forecast that she would retest 5.5 and then be slowed down, but she actually broke above it and is performing even better than I predicted, which is perfectly acceptable because AMC is looking quite good. But the real issue is what will happen to AMC tomorrow. What will happen to the market tomorrow? And this is why I'd like to explain CPI to you. Regarding the CPI, I would like to point out that month-to-month -month increases have continued to occur. Year after year, the rate of growth is unrelenting. Likewise, the same thing is occurring. Looking at the February data, it was up 0.4%. January's gain was 0.5%. Consequently, there is a risk of higher inflation for the year, particularly as commodity prices rise. However, the true question is when on earth that is likely to occur. Is this event scheduled for tomorrow? The report will be released tomorrow, one hour before the market opens. The month-over-month -month data, the main month-over-month -month data, and the year-over-year -year data are all being released, and CPI will impact how the Fed ultimately raises interest rates. If they do it again or decide to pause, it will have a significant impact, and we must be prepared for it. We do not want this to be overly warm. The current forecast for core CPI is approximately 5.5%, and the inflation rate or CPI year-over-year -year, is 5.3%. In a few moments, I will break down these numbers in greater depth. But first, I'd like to discuss this right here. Considering the percentage change over the past 12 months, it has been on a downward trend over here. It has been consistently trending downward. But the true question is whether this trend will continue or whether it will intensify as summer approaches. Because summer has arrived, the CPI has a propensity to rise and increase once more. It also involves supply chains and numerous macroeconomic factors. We will have to observe how this develops. However, there was another increase in vitality as we entered March. March saw a significant increase in the price of petrol in the United States, as shown by the data presented here. Now, the Fed predicts that the core CPI may be a little too high but we are uncertain about the overall total. As a result, we must now exercise extreme caution when it comes to the market's behavior. If CPI is low, the market will always or typically react in a significant manner. Right? Additionally, we must account for core. If both core and CPI are below expectations, the market may continue to rise. But if it's too warm, the market could actually reverse course so we must exercise extreme caution. Now with regards to espionage, remember that this will impact AMC. If the CPI is super, super high at 5.7%, the markets will collapse. The market will decline significantly. AMC is also going to depart. If CPI is extremely high, between 5.5% and 5.6%, we could still see a 2% drop on SPY because it will show another increase month over month and will get a higher number compared to the previous month. However, if CPI is between 5.3% and 5.4%, which is very close to expectations, we could actually move up quite a bit. We could see a 1% increase in price. If this were to occur, AMC would be able to maintain her current levels and advance even further. 
If the CPI is 5.2% or less, the market could continue to rally and we could see another 2% move to the upside from here on out. In addition, I would like to note that for or not only is CPI essential, but also the core is going to be extremely important. If core is extremely hot, the market will collapse. It will be extremely awful. 6% to 5.9%, 5.8 5 to 5.7%. We did see a slight decline. Nothing too extreme, but we'd still fall considerably. Then, if the result is between 5.6% and 5.5%, which is very close to projections, we could proceed in either direction. Perhaps a 1% or even 1% change. It depends largely on how the market interprets this and what the CPI reveals. As expected, however, this would again fall very near to expectations. We could slightly ascend or even slightly decline. Nothing significant. We want this to be at or below 5.4%. We want this to be less than what was predicted. Now, according to the Fed, it will most likely be somewhere around here. Thus, the odds favor a high degree of volatility, which could potentially result in losses. Be extremely cautious if this is too high and if it's 5.4%, the market could continue to rise. Now, for CPI by itself, the probabilities are in its favor. It will probably not be too terrible. We may be extremely close to estimates. However, it may be a little too heated. The same petrol prices are increasing, but it is highly manipulated. Thus, we shall see how this turns out. Based on the Fed's projections, it seems likely that core inflation will be a touch higher than anticipated. This suggests that we could achieve a 5.6% or possibly 5.7%. We only need to see the risk data. But in my opinion, as the market is boosting and rallying, and as we get closer to the report, I would be extremely cautious and extremely cautious as the market could also reverse dramatically. Currently, AMC has a relatively high cost of borrowing at 842%. ANC's volume is decreasing. Today, we only received about 31 million in volume. However, the Fed warns that the core will be either a little bit warm or a little bit chilly. Therefore, this improves the probabilities. Do favor our possibly descending eventually. I don't know if we'll gap up and then come down, or if we'll just chill off a bit. Nevertheless, based on the Fed's projections, I believe the probabilities favor AMC dropping slightly. However, this is not a guarantee. I am prepared for any situation. I'd love to see AMC explode, and she still can, but I'm still prepared because the market is once again rallying, approaching CPI, which is not always a positive indicator. In addition, the Fed warns that core inflation may be too high. Consequently, extreme caution is required during this time period. Okay, then. Therefore, be ready for anything. However, as I previously stated, it is somewhat more probable that we will experience a decline given our current rally and the Fed statements. Having said that, we will simply have to observe how tomorrow unfolds. Okay then. Therefore, thank you for attending. Have a fantastic remainder of the day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and amp to the moon, because the long-term future is still immensely bright.